We are not wasting any time today. We are going straight into the content because I am clearly way behind on vlogs. <laughs> so we're going to catch up this week and how we're going to do that is by just getting into this. So this was an amazing week for me. This was one of my first weeks that I really got in the gym and put some weight on these leg presses and any other thing that I was doing. So what we're doing here is, like I said, I don't want to give out Byron's full workout for free, but I was doing sets of 10, 8, 6, 4, 4, 6, 8, and back to 10. So obviously, the higher the repetition, the lower the weight, the lower the repetition, the higher the weight. Up on this day, I think I got up to 6 plates with 225s on the side. So putting on some serious weight now, people. Next, you see me doing a traditional squat. What I personally like to do is feet just a little bit, then shoulder width apart with my toes turned out. I don't load a whole lot of weight onto the bar because I have knee issues. So I go down as low as I can and get that good squeeze when I come up. Here you see me doing a jump squat. I was holding on to a 25 pound plate and my main goal was to touch my elbows to my knees as a I was going down to the lowest point of my squat. Next up were dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. We were doing this in the same format as we were for the leg press. So obviously my weight was increasing as my repetitions decreased. And I'm showing you every different angle so you can see how I'm squeezing, especially on the back side. No, this wasn't just so you could look at my ass. <laughs> Let's get that straight. It's so that you guys can see how when you come up, you squeeze those glutes, not to where you're pushing your hips forward, but the sides of your glutes should be tightening up. Here you see me doing barbell lunges. Now, the difference between this one and what I should have been doing was with dumbbells. Just my hands and my forearms start to go numb, so I used as heavy as weight as I possibly could and just push through that front heel when you're coming back. Now these are my absolute favorite. I'm so full of you know what right now. The, I can't stand these. These hurt so bad. <laughs> but they hurt so good. So step ups on one leg with a knee raise. So these are amazing. You want to shape those legs and shape those glutes. Girls, throw a bar on your back. Get to work. Trust me, these will get you there. I love a good sumo squat. So here I grab the heaviest weight that I could possibly hold on to without it slipping out of my hands, turning my toes out as far as I can, coming down with my knees at a, at a 90 degree angle and squeeze those glutes when you come up. Do it like a ballerina's plie squat. Keep your ass in as much as possible and squeeze at the top. Now back to the leg press, but this time for single leg presses. I normally do two plates on each side. That would be go 180 pounds. But by the end of this workout, my legs were dead. So even if you feel this way, just push through on it with as much weight as possible. Hi folks. So this is the actual grocery haul that I just did tonight. I, I'm assuming this would take about a couple of weeks. So I'll be able to kind of last with this for a couple of weeks. There is a little bit of food that I actually still have left over. So yeah, we're gonna stretch it out as long as we can. So this is what we got. I'm sorry if I seem uninterested. I'm not listening. No, I mean, different. Truly, I ain't got no business here. But since my friends are here, I just came to kick it. Really, I would rather be at home all by myself.
obsessed with this An antisocial pessimist Usually I don't mess with this And I know you mean only the best And your intentions aren't to bother me Honestly, I'd rather be somewhere with my people We can kick it and just listen to some music with a message That's you see here. And we'll discuss our big dreams That we plan to take over the planet So pardon my manners I hope you'll understand that I'll be here Not there in the kitchen with the girl who's always gossiping About her friends who tell them I'll be here This is 
the asparagus that had just the salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder on it. This was the same, same exact type of seasoned asparagus, only I added a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette to it just to see which one I like. Now the Brussels sprouts, remember I love them crispy and I love them burnt. That is exactly how I like them. So the Brussels sprouts were prepared the same way that these were. So salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and balsamic vinaigrette on these. I actually love the balsamic vinaigrette on the Brussels sprouts. Do not like them on the asparagus. So trial and error, you see what you like and you see what you don't and then you just move forward from there. Last but not least, this is the orange pecan chicken. So I put the orange literally right on top of it while it was on the grill so that it wouldn't dry out nearly as much as it would if it wasn't on there. So both sides done. And then right here on the inside of the chicken, I stuff pecans right on the inside of the chicken. That's what's on the inside of all these. The orange pecan chicken was prepared differently than what I normally do. You guys know in my vlogs, it's always salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, hands down. So with this chicken, what I did was just salt, stevia, and a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, marinated with the oranges. And mind you, I did not mention this, but every single thing that I prepared had a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on it. Just a little bit. So I had four and a half pounds of chicken breast and I only used three tablespoons of extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil on these. So I didn't use that much. It all worked out. Even see in this one, we got the pecans in the middle. Right on the inside of there. Looks good. So thank you guys for watching today's vlog. Clearly you got to see me back on the grill. Um, trying to still figure out how to work that damn thing. <laughs> I'm no expert when it comes to the grill. There was actually three guys that came out and they were preparing their own steaks even at 2.30 in the morning. So we were right beside each other. They had one grill. I had kind of selfishly <laughs> taken up two grills before they got there, but I was able to knock my food out fairly quickly. And one of the guys even came over and he helped me. I mean, I, I mean, unbeknownst to me, I never knew that you needed to spray the grill with some kind of oil. So my chicken was sticking. I had no idea. <laughs> so he came over, he literally took my tongs, said, don't worry about it. I'll flip your, flip your chicken for you. Um, and he made it work perfectly for me. So thank God he was out there. Otherwise my chicken would probably still be stuck out there. <laughs> I would just have to figure out another source of protein for the rest of this week. But it's just awesome to be able to meet people from all walks of life. They were all, the three guys, they were all in their 20s, like early 20s. One of them is a promoter for a nightclub. And the other two, I don't know exactly what they do, but one of them, super like a tiny petite guy. And I don't mean that in like a feminine way. He, he was just a small guy. And literally when I, he asked me what I did and I said, how I do fitness competitions and I help to simplify nutrition for other people because that's where most people lack in their transformations. Nutrition is the hardest part to kind of figure out. I told him that's what I do. And of course the question started flying. How can I gain weight? How can I put on some gains? How can I make sure that I'm eating the right thing at the right time? Am I not supposed to eat red meats like before I go to bed? And you know, the questions just started going. So it's super awesome to be able to meet people like that and be able to share the information that I have so that they can see better results too. Um, of course, most of the things that he was throwing at me, I, thought I, I just had to quickly shut it down. I'm like, that's a myth, don't believe it. That's a myth, don't believe it. <laughs> so um, hopefully he's, you know, he may get closer to his transformational goals. You never know, but hopefully I'll see them back out there at the grill at another 2 a.m cooking session you never know but um super cool guys helped me out super awesome we had some um nice little chat so i am going to take it to bed put all this food away of course first and then my macros are met for the day go to sleep i literally wrote out everything that's supposed to happen tomorrow in a time frame so that i have a structured schedule so i can stay on track 
make sure I get my workout in, my cardio in, and also make sure that I have time for all of my phone calls with my teammates and with some people that are seeking more help from me on the transformational side and also people, I've had so many people hit me up lately and say, I'm a chiropractor and I'm going to school and I need an extra income. Or I had a stay at home mom that had contacted me not too long ago and said, you know, I, I miss working, at, but I can't, go to, I can't go to work because me going to work is basically just paying for my childcare and it's just not enough to cover what I need. I might as well just stay at home while my husband works. I've had quite a few stories like that lately and so I made sure to map out my day tomorrow so that I can help them as best as I can and also take care of my own business because if you're not making yourself happy then you can't make anybody else happy so I had to schedule those things out. So it's going to be an early morning tomorrow for cardio and lifting and then also get those phone calls in tomorrow before I have to go to work, dance on the bar to pay my bills. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I can't say it enough. Thank you to all those who have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, you are slacking. <laughs> Hit the red button, subscribe. I wanna be able to get this kind of content out to you guys as much as possible if it is helping you, of course. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if it's information that you love and also comment below if there's something that you guys wanna see or if there's just something that you loved in the video or something that you didn't like in the video that you don't, don't wanna see anymore. I'm, in a pretty, I'm a pretty open person, so you can go ahead and shoot that stuff out to me. Just keep it PG-13, be nice. I do take constructive criticism, but be nice about it. <laughs> and I appreciate you guys so much. I will see you on the next vlog.